And welcome, welcome, welcome. We are so excited to welcome you guys in to this amazing training on a Friday afternoon here on the East Coast. Welcome, welcome, welcome. As you guys are tuning in, go ahead and share with us where you're visiting from. Let us know what you've got going on in your neck of the woods, and it is going to be such a fun, fun webinar. So thank you guys so much for tuning in with us. We are so excited. We have Angela from Michigan. Um, Diane, Maggie, hello from Massachusetts, Crystal um, from Georgia. We're so excited to have each and every one of you guys here for today's webinar. Now, as you guys know, this week we have launched Design Make Sell, which is our awesome, awesome webinar training program to help you guys decide if you would like to be part of Design Make Sell, which launched this week and you have right at one week to decide if you would like to join Design Make Sell. And guys, we've had so many people say Friday is my day that I'm joining. They're going to join today. They're going to get their books. They're going to start watching their trainings and get started building their business with their die cutting machine. But I know a lot of you guys are sitting there saying, Tanner, I am not sure if Design Make Sell is for me. I'm not sure if I should join Design Make Sell because it's a big investment. And I totally understand each and every one of you guys. So in today's webinar, we are going to be trying to give you as much complimentary free training as possible to help you guys decide if Design Make Sell is right for you, but to also lay an amazing foundation to help jumpstart you guys in designing or selling your very own projects. So thank you guys so much for tuning in with us today. Oh my goodness, first time catching a live recently joined. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Veronica from Oregon, hey from Colorado. Hello, I see some people that have already joined uh, Design Make Sell, so welcome. We're so excited for each and every one of you. Um, like I said, that is a big investment, so congratulations. And guys, there's so much to learn, so much to share. So as you guys are tuning in, let's go ahead and share uh, a little bit more. Be sure to introduce yourself so we know who we're chatting with today. Remember, on webinars like this, if you want bonuses, added tips, added value, be sure to engage with us in the comments. Let us know what you've got going on and be as responsive as possible so that we can make sure to give you guys extra bonuses. Yay, I love it, I love it. First time, so many first time friends here with us. Welcome to each and every one of you guys. Um, I can't believe you shouted out my name, super excited, oh my goodness. From Liverpool, England, welcome Ellie. Oh my We've goodness. From all over. So many friends, hello, hello. Rachel's here with us to help monitor comments and to make sure that we do not miss a single thing throughout tonight. So today, tonight. Today's well, webinar. You, you did it. You did I did it. do it a few other times. Yeah. So yes, another thing. This is uh, the webinar we have previously done, but we wanted to make sure that we did it at a few different times for people to, to engage with us live. So we're really excited. Hey from Alabama, new from California, Northern California. Hello, Kathleen. And Chandra from Tennessee, first timer from Fullerton, California. Love it. Uh, Miss Laura and a friend just update upgraded to the maker. Congratulations and Brittany from Charlotte. So woohoo! I'm so excited. And guys, if you all are curious about Design Make Sell, we are gonna have a ton of time later on in the webinar to answer any questions because the doors are only open for one week. So you have one week to decide if you want 2020 to be the year that you're able to set up your business, start bringing in an income, instead of having to spend hundreds of dollars a month on crafting, you can start creating streams to come in to help support your crafting habits. So we are so, so excited. Doesn't that sound amazing? Yeah. Yes. Doing what you love for profit. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Also from Tennessee, Miss Jennifer. Well, let's go ahead and jump in to today's webinar and chat all about what we've got going on in today's webinar. Yay! This is the five secrets to making money crafting, even if you have not sold before. We love this. We have teach this webinar to hundreds, if not actually thousands because on the first time we hosted this one webinar 900 people watched so so many great things to come in tonight's webinar today's webinar um, we are just, somewhere <laughs> yes we are so excited for each and every one of you guys to tune in to today's webinar so thank you guys so much for being here with us a lot of you guys may be asking 
um, what you're going to learn today. So in today's webinar, we are going to talk all a lot about a lot. The main few things we are going to be talking about is exactly how you're going to be able to design your very own SVGs to make custom projects like never before. So if you have ever wanted to make custom projects, ever be able to design, be able to, you know, like Becca shared with us earlier in the week, um, how to take pictures of our family, pictures of our dogs, our kids, um, and create custom silhouettes, you're going to be able to learn how to lay that foundation with what software and things like that. Um, second of all, the number one reason you're likely not successful selling your crafts and getting frustrated spending so much on supplies. If you're not successful selling your crafts and if you're getting frustrated spending so much on supplies, who who's there with me? Who has also been there where they are not successful selling their crafts and you're frustrated because you feel like you're always constantly spending money on more supplies? Let me know in the comments. And lastly, we're going to learn where and how to get support and the tools that it is going to take to make it all possible. So woohoo, we are so, so excited. It's going to be amazing. And a lot of you guys may be asking um, yourself, let me look right here. Um, oops, I've skipped a few slides. Why Tanner? So this is exactly who I am for anyone that is brand new to our Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel, any of our trainings. I have one decade of die cutting experience with Cricut. Yes, one decade. I've been using a machine for over 10 years um, and it's been so fun. I received my first machine in 2010. Um, I'm the founder of Makers Gonna Learn, which is a die cutting education platform with over 5,000 active students. I shared this earlier in the week, so if you um, watch that webinar, you'll know we are up to almost 8,000 active students. So yay! Oh, we are so excited and um, we're just so thrilled to have such a growing platform and I hope we're in company of a lot of our active students. And last but not least, and what I would have to say is the most important, guys, is that I'm here and I'm passionate to see people thrive using their Cricut to make money and design amazing custom projects. One thing that I am super blessed to say that the Cricut has been able to allow me to support my family, support um, all of my own passions and other desires, um, that it all comes down to the Cricut. So if you guys are really excited to be able to take everything that you love about your Cricut and create an income for yourself, you're going to be thrilled to watch today's webinar and kind of, you know, really see exactly what you're able to do with your Cricut to be able to create an income for yourself. So we're super thrilled to be able to do that and we cannot wait. So if you guys are ready to learn for the next 45 minutes, maybe um, right at one hour, we want to ask you guys and invite you guys to make sure that you're ready to learn. So if you're ready to learn, let's go ahead, silence your phone and log off of Facebook. I, if you all are anything like me, I try to multitask all the time um, and truly over the next 45 minutes, you wanna be sure to have those notebooks out, to be taking really amazing notes because what we're going to do today is start laying a foundation for you guys to be able to create an income, to create um, a brand of your own with your Cricut. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure that you're focused in for the next 45 minutes, just so that you give yourself that time to learn. Um, and it's so, so important. Second of all, we want to make sure that you guys save those questions for the end of the broadcast. We will make sure to have time for them. We're going to go over um, almost every single question to the best of our abilities. And like I already stated before, I want to share it again because I truly believe it is so important. Go ahead, grab your notebook and get ready to take some awesome, awesome notes. Be sure to, I love, love, love when our students are taking pictures of their, them taking notes and sharing it with us on Instagram. You can go ahead and tag Makers Gonna Learn, tag my personal um, Instagram, TannerBell1023, so that we can make sure that we uh, connect with you guys over on Instagram and 
and see that you all are loving the training today. So we are so, so excited and I love, love, love um, having each and every one of you guys here. So as you all are sharing on Instagram, as you are, you know, engaging with us on today's webinar, we want to make sure that we are able to give you everything you need and more. So today we want to dive in and talk about what is the reason that keeps you from making money with your machine. If you are constantly wondering, how am I not able to make money with my Cricut machine? This is what we want to share in today's webinar. We want to make sure that you're able to constantly create income for yourself with your machine. You do not want to have just one-off orders. You do not want to have just simple things. Um, we want to make sure that we're able to create um, a stream of income that is going to come each and every month and time. So that is what we're going to talk about um, today and kind of what is going to keep you from making money with your machine. So if you guys are excited, go ahead and drop um, a secret in the comment. Just go ahead and type secret out in the comment so we can dive in to our first um, webinar secret of today. We are just so thrilled to be able to share all that we have today with each and every one of you guys. And I know a lot of you are really thrilled to learn all that we have. So yay, going to be so much fun. Fun. Um, and we're going to go ahead and jump right in. So secret number one is right here. And that is to start making money crafting, you have to stop working for free. Okay, my friends, to start making money crafting, you have to stop working for free. How important is this right here? Um, because you have to create the time to allow each and every night, every day um, in your busy life to create an income. And if you're constantly doing things free for your friends, for your family, um, you are not going to be able to build a successful business. The number one thing you have to do is to be real with yourself and let yourself know that you only have 24 hours in a day. And in those 24 hours, we have to subtract eight of those hours for sleep because you have to be well rested. Am I right? You have to then take away if you have a full-time job right now, and then you have to take away time for your family. And tr the truth be told, guys, you may only have a few hours a day, if that, that you're able to dedicate to building that business. And if you're constantly bombarded with working for free, which is totally fine when it is clearly defined, you are going to realize that you're going to have to free up some of that time. So what I recommend is for each and every one of you to set clear boundaries for when you're willing to work for free and then follow them. You want to follow exactly what that outline is. When is it important for you to do that? Is it when your niece or your nephew has a birthday? Is it when you're passionate about that project? You guys can define that to the best of your abilities. But what I know for people that I know that sell their projects um, and people know that we have crickets is that you're constantly going to have friends reaching out. Hey, can we make this? Hey, can we do this together? Hey, can we do this? Um, so we are going to love, you know, being able to kind of set those boundaries. And the best part about this, guys, is once you say, hey, I want to work for profit, um, you want to be upfront with your friends and family so that they can support you. And who knows, maybe you'll start selling to them um, and it'll be really amazing. And hopefully they will support you you. Okay. So again, just to recap, I want you all to be writing this down and, you know, start thinking about what you're going to clearly, um, you know, outline about what you're going to set those clear boundaries for. And that is to make sure that if you want to truly start making money crafting, you have to stop working for free. 
okay? So I wanna make sure that you guys um, have that. So if you all are ready to dive in to secret number two, go ahead and drop number two here in the comments. Again, go ahead and drop a number two in the comments because our next um, secret is going to be for everyone that is wanting to design with their Cricut. If you guys are always wanting to design your own cut files and you have no idea where to start, go ahead and drop a number two here in the comments. We're so excited to have each and every one of you here. So I want to go ahead and take a look at what we've got. We did have a question, how to better promote myself and my business. My friends, if you are wanting to better promote your business and yourself, what we love to recommend is to focus on one platform and then go from there. So what I mean by that is build your Instagram up, build your Facebook up, build your Etsy shop up. But what you want to do is make sure, make sure, make sure that you focus on one at a time. Okay. One at a time. Miss Kirsten says new here from Florida. Joint maker is going to learn and ready to get started. Number two, let's go. Okay. This one right here is number two, and that is designing cut files does not have to cost a fortune. These three different platforms that we have right here will allow you to do everything you want and more. And what I love to show this illustration is because I know once you see this, you're going to know that these platforms are not necessarily out of reach if you want it bad enough. The scale right here goes from completely free to a one-time purchase of $9.99, or you can have the nicest, best design software for SVGs available, which is Adobe Illustrator, and you can have Illustrator for as low um, or really as much. There's other ways to get it lower with student discounts, um, teacher discounts, and more. Um, but Illustrator, you can get a 30-day free trial, and then after that, you would pay $19.99 a month. So it's definitely an investment, but it's not out of reach. You would have to, you know, maybe cut back on coffee three or four days out of the month <laughs> um, if you, you know, didn't want to, you know, invest any more than that. So what we love is that Inkscape is completely free, and Becca and I spoke about it during our training on Wednesday. Was that Inkscape is really great for the beginner? It's completely free, and they're even working on an app. So you're going to see very soon um, that Inkscape, you know, is a great free platform where you're not investing hundreds of dollars into software and you're able to start designing SVGs quickly. Okay. You're able to start designing SVGs quickly. Secondly, for one time $9.99, you can use Procreate. And Procreate is for everyone out there that feels like they are meant to be a hand lettering artist. The way I like to describe a hand lettering artist is that you have one particular style, one you know vibe that you jam with and that you want to put that and design your own stickers. You wanna design amazing hand lettered items. What I love about Procreate, my friends, is that we have probably three to five of our artists that work for Makers Gonna Learn, they use Procreate to develop their hand lettering items, okay? Artists that we work with that we use to design our artwork are using these platforms here. So these are the top of the line when it comes to designing, and you're gonna definitely, definitely love, love, love exactly what you can do with Procreate. And then thirdly, Illustrator. Illustrator is the top of the line Adobe Illustrator platform for creating um, SVGs or scalable vector graphics. A scalable vector graphic, if you're wondering what a SVG stands for, I'm gonna repeat it one more time for the ones taking notes. SVG stands for scalable vector graphic. Why it's a graphic and it's a scalable one is due to the fact that it's organized with layers. And traditionally, we organize each layer um, as a different color. So every color kind of has its own layer and that's how you're able to take a Maker's Gonna Learn cut file right in to Cricut Design Space and it's all organized for you. 
So we are loving, loving, loving Illustrator. And we just like to give this, you know, breakdown due to the fact that your Go have everything you need and more right here at your fingertips um, when you're ready to learn exactly how to design those SVGs. So yay, we are so excited about that. And um, if you guys are ready to move on into secret number three, secret number three is one that I'm super excited about. So go ahead and put a three in the comments. I love number three because it is one of the most controversial um, topics that we share here at Makers Gonna Learn and in our um, formula for building a successful business with your die cutting machine. So if you guys are ready and excited to hear what that exactly is, go ahead and put a number three in the comments. Yay, Cindy. Hello, Miss Dr. Pamela. Hello, Jamie. Tiffany says three. Linda says three. Unique Designs by Monica says three. Yes. Yay, yay, yay. We're so excited. We're so, so thrilled to have each and every one of you guys here with us. Barbara, Casey, Kathleen. I'm going to get a drink of water and we're going to dive right in to number three. And let me know, are you guys taking notes? Have you shared them on Instagram? I'm going to be reposting them. So let's go ahead and share that um, and let people know that you are bettering yourself on this beautiful Friday. I say it's beautiful. It's actually pretty rainy here on, in East Tennessee. Unfortunately, but it's 75. 75 feels good. It's very warm. I'm good at 75. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, we are going to jump right in to secret number three. Thank you all for the comments. And that is doo, 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 secret number three. I wonder if my little cursor is not going to work. I don't know what's wrong, wrong with that keyboard today. We still have number threes coming. Always taking notes, Miss Laura says. Well, I hope number three wants to come. Do, 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 do. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. 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 Okay. We are going to jump in to secret number three. Yay. Okay. The money is in the niches. So sorry for the slides going all over the place. That is a brand new thing that has never happened before in one of these webinars. And this secret that is the most controversial, um, you know, topic that we share in our program design make sell is due to the fact that the money is in the niches. So what we mean by that in, what I want to share from the get go with this one is that a niche is just your specialty is just your overall overarching um, goal and kind of mission of what you're doing. So we've shared so many different ideas of what your niche could be. We actually determined that there is a big, big, big um, niche that is really needed um, is that you need to make sure that you have a niche that people are wanting to you know, purchase from. So for example, if you want to go back and rewatch Wednesday's training, we found out that bow making is a huge thing that you're able to sell a bow from anywhere from five to $8 or more um, for one singular bow that you're able to design with your Cricut. So you're able to design it, cut it and build it all with your Cricut um, for your bows. And then you're able to sell those from five to $8. You can sell different packages of them. You could have a pack for four for like $20 or, you know, anything like that, um, which is really amazing. So a niche could be bow making and niche should be, could be shirt making, frame making, candle making, um, you name it, there is probably a genre. Glitter tumblers with your Cricut. You, you can kind of see that that is what we mean. So we don't mean only one product, we mean one niche. So that would be, you know, an example of um, people making different glitter tumblers, different t-shirts, different frames, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and here is the reasons why you need to have a niche. And mainly because you cannot do everything perfect. You cannot be able to do everything and be um, a jack of all trades because you, at some point you will not be able to do it as well as you could do 
something else. You cannot be passionate about everything um, that much. And the biggest thing we have people ask at this step is, but Tanner, I love so many different things. Here's what I have to say if you feel like you're led in two or three different ways. This, unless you are making money, which means profit, you just have your hobby. So look at the two or three things you do really well that you love to do and figure out which one is going to bring you the most profit. And how you determine that is based upon how fast and how well you're able to make the product and sell it for the least amount of time. So which one can you get that higher hourly rate out of, right? You may say, Tanner, I love making bows, but I could build one frame and be able to make three times what it would take me to make that in bow making. You wanna look at those numbers and justify it that way because that's when the business aspect steps in and you want to strategically make those decisions, okay? Secondly, you cannot do everything cost effective. When is there been a time that we could do all these different projects and be able to get everything wholesale or be able to get everything, um, you know, really affordably when you're able to focus in on a one niche for us, we love our frames. We use frames three or four times a month at minimum. But what that has allowed us to do with loving frames is we have a course on teaching you all how to make frames, but then we feature them in a lot of different ways and we bulk produce those frames. So we have the, the frames built, we have the backings cut, and then we're able to then just go in our storage room, grab the frame we want and get to crafting. That's what you're going to be able to see. Um, you know, once you have a niche and a specialty, you're going to be able to do it really effectively, um, not only from a cost perspective, but also from that time effectiveness. Um, and then lastly, I truly, truly believe this is that your customers need you as an expert for what you do best. Okay, so if you are a bow maker, they're gonna come to you every time they have a new baby girl um, come into their life and they know they need bows for them um, or a cheerleading um, group would come to you and order bows for their entire competitions and years, um, you know, every single year come back. That's a great way to create a reoccurring customer is that you want to have that niche so that you can show up for your customers as an expert for what you do best. Heather says, I'm doing farmhouse sayings. They are beautiful. Exactly. I love that. And see, Heather is creating her niche around the farmhouse. If anyone purchases a farmhouse, they can go to Heather and see exactly, you know, what she has to offer for custom decor that they can't find anywhere else um, for their farmhouse. I love seeing um, new home constructions and people say, hey, I want to try and create my home into some type of um, farmhouse, like a faux farmhouse, um, so they can come to Heather as well. What a great idea, Heather. I love it. Well, guys, I hope you all are taking notes. You all are not too talkative in the chat, which I really appreciate because that means, I hope it means you all are taking amazing, amazing notes. So if you are and you're really excited to move on into number three, go ahead and drop a number, excuse me, number four. You want to go ahead and drop number four in the comments. Go ahead and drop number four if you're excited to move on into secret number four. Yay. I just sent you an email last time I saw one of your posts. I had no idea you all were in my neighborhood. Oh my gosh, RGL. Um, I'm not sure what neighborhood you're in, but we are in East Tennessee. Oh, yes. Thank you. Number four. Woohoo. Oh my goodness. Sylvia says four. Laura, uh, four, 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 four. Oh my goodness. Crystal Williams says, I love my pro design make sell. I've sold lots of items. Guys, you will have an, um, an opportunity to learn all about design make sell at the end of today's webinar. And let me tell you, if you are loving everything we are sharing now, you are going to love, absolutely love the entire Makers Gonna Learn team in Design Make Sell. So get excited for that. And um, we love seeing our students pop in. So thank you, Miss Crystal. I'm glad that you're, you're selling well. Denise says number four, Heather four. 
uh, Marcy for Claudia for awesome. Well, guys, let's go ahead and see if my computer will let me move over to secret number four. <laughs> and we move to five. Here's number four. <laughs> um, this is one that I've had so many conversations with people about, and it's truly something that I'm so passionate about sharing, um, is that people come and say there's too many sellers on Etsy. How many of us have thought about that? How many of us feel that way? And usually it is just ourselves trying to talk us out of everything. So if that is you, you, what here's what you need to do you need to first use the data of etsy use the numbers to justify everything so if you're thinking there's too many sellers on etsy today that is false and here is why because there's over 40 million buyers right now on etsy that is people that have an account on etsy that have purchased with them in the past i tried to get an actual estimate of how far back that was wasn't too sure but there's been 40 million buyers on etsy and i'm sure this number is growing every single day but out of that what i found so interesting was there's only 2 million sellers and this is sellers overall my friends this is not just sellers that are 10 out of 10 five star sellers this is everyone okay this is not you know, just counting people with really nice photos. This is not counting people that have wrote really good descriptions. This is just in general. So there's even less people that are doing it right. And in Design Make Sell, we teach you guys how to sell on Etsy correctly. Am I right? Like, so you know what I mean? You want to you wanna be sure about that. So if you all have been, you know, worried and confused if you're able to sell on Etsy today, there's so much room for people to be able to show up and create a really awesome store. So what you can do is you can still today show up and build an amazing customer base. You can still show up today and build an amazing customer base. So that is right, my friends. You are still able to show up. You are still able to show out and do amazing things with your Cricut and build a shop that is gonna be awesome. Whether you're like Heather and want to sell um, farmhouse decor, um, whether you're wanting to sell glitter mugs, glitter tumblers. We have a friend that just says, I do hats, mugs, and plates, and t-shirts. Um, tumblers and canvas are my niche. Um, I love it. I love it. Oh my goodness. Woohoo. Darlene just made a logo using Canva so I can start my Etsy store. How can I make sure others do not use it? Well, Miss Darlene, if you are really worried about your logo, you can apply for a patent, um, like a copyright patent. Um, it would be patent pending for quite a while. And remember, um, you, it would only be available in the industry. That you're in so patents actually um, do not cover everything they only cover just the industry that you would be in so it would be like home home goods I'm, I'm assuming of some I'm so, of some sort so yes I love it I love seeing all of the different things you guys have got going on let us know um, what you do here in the, the comments so I love it but okay so you can still show up and build an amazing customer base. There's still plenty and plenty of room for each and every one of you guys to show up on Etsy. And right now, my friends, if you're taking those notes, go ahead and write down, you know, what you want to do. Do you want to build a, a shop on Etsy? Do you want to go on Facebook first? Which one would you like to do? Because that is where you get to decide. Do you want to build up local customers um, and you know show up for them? Do you want to show up all across the world potentially on Etsy and kind of build more of a um, you know, an online presence. That is what you want to decide right now so that you can then start planning those next steps. Unique Designs by Monica says, designing SVGs is my niche. I love it. If you are passionate about it, that is exactly what you need to do. It's so, so much fun. I love it. You guys are amazing. Okay. Brittany says, I want to build an Etsy shop. Yay. 
I love it. We have another friend saying they have a PNG shop um, on Etsy where she's able to sell custom files that she designs. She sells PNG, SVG, and JPEG files in a package for every listing they have. So that's amazing. Congratulations. Yes, you guys are killing it. Okay, secret number five is the one that I am truly most passionate about because I see so many people diving in, sharing with me what their niche is. I have so many people showing up to let me know their logos designed. I have people saying they're ready to build their shop, but I know there are people watching right now that are scared and that they are worried um, that they're not able to do this. So if you're ready for secret number five, which is one of my favorites, let's go ahead and drop a number five in the comments. I'm waiting to design SVG files. Guys, if you want to design SVG files, we have a, a very intensive course that is able to give you a ton of foundational elements and really advanced techniques to designing awesome, awesome um, SVGs. So yay, I love it, I love it. We've got five, Jennifer says five, Cindy five, Tiffany five, Ellie five. So many friends here, oh my goodness. I see some new friends commenting number five right now, which I bet are the ones that are still trying to figure out if selling online is right for them, if making money with their machine is right for them. K Park Designs five, Melissa five, Amazing, amazing, my friends. So excited to have each and every one of you guys here with us. Woohoo! Okay, so secret number five. This one right here is so important because you, your income can come from something you enjoy. If you consider this your hobby, this right here, can, you can create an income and your income can come from a hobby that you enjoy. Tons of people left and right constantly tell me, well, I really shouldn't charge people because I just love to do it all the time. I love, love, love crafting. I could not charge for that. Um, and my friends, that is something that here in America, people really um, don't usually try to combine the two and do something that they that they love. And what I wanna share with you guys is that your income can come from something that you truly enjoy. Millions of people love handmade items, but do not feel comfortable or confident making them. The craft rooms that you have built, the supplies you have purchased, this is valuable and people are not constantly able to do this, have this and things like that. Um, so you are providing value when you're able to open up your craft room, when you're able to take a custom project um, and things like that, because not everyone has a cricket, not everyone has the supplies that you have. Therefore, they need you to come in and craft for them so that they are still able to have those amazing handmade items, okay? Secondly, just because you love making does not mean you have to do it for free. Um, that is just icing on the cake that you can love something and still charge for it. Just because you love making does not mean you have to do it for free. Someone says, yes, 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 nothing is free. Exactly, exactly, exactly. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, and thirdly, my friends, people will start valuing once you value yourself. People will start valuing once you value yourself. Can I get an amen? I'm going to amen myself to that. You? Thank yes. you. Oh, thank you, Rachel. <laughs> this is so good. And this shows up in so many different aspects of what you have going. Whether you want to um, you know, sell your projects or anything like that. Once you start valuing what you're doing, you will see that people will start valuing yourself as well. So this is so important. And this is truly, again, going back to secret number one, I'm just trying to share with you guys that you have to create those boundaries um, to stop working for free so that you can open up your time to be able to work on your business so that you can work on your Etsy shop, that you can create um, inventory 
for your business. So important, so crucial. And it sounds like my friends that a lot of you guys are here. You all have goals, you have ambitions, but we all have the same 24 hours in a day. And unfortunately we are all not like jo Joanna Gaines yet and have staffs that can just build us a building and then just magically open a rug store. It's not happening for us yet. Not yet. Not yet. But we will get there and we'll have a coffee shop. We'll have a home decor store, but we're not there yet. And that's okay. So we have to take our 24 hours and make the best out of it and setting those boundaries and start, you know, valuing ourselves so that other people can value us. That will not only improve who you have coming to you for orders, but it'll also improve your happiness and you'll just have so much more prod, so much more time to do such a well-rounded job for everyone that you work with. So to recap, this is everything we have just went over. So if you're taking notes, if you feel like you missed any, let's go ahead and kind of recap everything we've got going on. First of all, you can design your own cut files without breaking the bank. You do not have to be an expert artist either. <gasps> Melissa Garcia, how are you doing my friend? So good to see you pop in. She says, it's so true. You have to believe in yourself and your crafts. And before you know it, you'll start selling and have so many other orders rolling in. Melissa, correct me if I'm wrong, but you have been selling for quite some time. So Melissa, we need to have her on and kind of share her story of cricketing and crafting um, because she is always working on so many awesome projects, whether it be um, for her grandkids or or her personal, but I believe she does some orders as well. So if she's saying it, you guys know it's true. <laughs> um, but thirdly, you can build your business with a niche in mind. And why we recommend the niche in mind is so that when you're building it, you are not just throwing out anything out there and people are not able to know what your specialties are. Next, there's not too many people selling online for you to join in. And that is important that we put selling online here because if you want to sell on Etsy, great. But if you don't want to sell on Etsy, there's so many other places that you can sell online today. And last but not least, my friends, you can make money with your hobby today, just like you could anything else. So if you guys are so excited, I think you all have been such a great group. We love doing these webinars. And when we have a smaller group here live with us, that allows us to kind of go deeper with the friends that we have. So it's actually such a, um, a fun time that you all are live with us today because we're going to have even more time to answer any of your questions. So be sure to let us know um, what you guys you know need help with um, and if you want a bonus let's go ahead and put bonus in the comments because we are going to be sharing a bonus with you guys just because you all are amazing and melissa says tanner's membership is the reason i could sell because of the amazing commercial license thanks melissa you're amazing we love it um Monica says, for me, I use mock-ups for my SVGs. Otherwise, I would have tons and tons of projects in my house. Is it wise to use them or is it better to have an actual product? Since you're, uh, Miss Monica, you're just selling your SVGs, I would totally continue to use the mock-ups because they're way more affordable than styling photos, editing photos, and doing all of that. You know what I mean? You're you're selling SVGs. You're not trying to, you know, sell the, the direct product. So great question. Ellie says, I've got a very active Instagram and Facebook page and just started my website. Congratulations, Miss Ellie. Congrats. Yay. Bonus, bonus, bonus. Everyone is ready. Well, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the bonus. This right here is one that we have to put in here because um, I'm so passionate about it. This right here is believe in your pricing. Please, 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 please do not compare yourself to others when it comes to pricing. Okay. Your pricing needs to be determined on your own. And it is not all about undercutting your competitors. Okay. Number one, do not compare yourself to others when it comes to pricing. And this is different than looking at your competitors to see what they charge. Looking at your competitors to see what they charge just so that you know is different than doing, you know, saying 
you're going to compare yourself to others. For example, you're going to come up with your own price and you're going to know the range of what your competitors are charging, but you're not going to try to make sure yours is the lowest price because that is you physically cutting out your own profit. When you're trying to undercut your competitors, you are cutting out your own profit. Um, you're not able to cut out supply costs when you're going with a lower price. The first thing you're doing when you lower your price is you're cutting out your very own profit. And guess what? I've said it a few times in this webinar, but what I want you all to be clear about is that if you are not um, you know, being able to create a profit for yourself in your business, you do not have a business. You just have a hobby where you're again, working for free, um, because you want to have that profit and make sure that you have a not nice substantial amount and you can create a nicer quality product and charge for it. So we love that. Heather's wearing her Maker's Gonna Learn shirt today. Oh my goodness, yay, we love that. We love it, love it. They're adorable, yeah. we're so glad. Oh my goodness. Jennifer says, hi, I'm totally new with Cricut. My question is, how can I know that I can sell a design, a design or font that I did not make? Well, Miss Jennifer, you would wanna make sure you have a commercial license. For example, if you're an active yearly member, yearly members only, two makers gonna learn, you have access to our commercial license. Um, a lot of times if you're using a free SVG or using you know a lot of crickets and cricket fonts and things like that, those have personal use licenses. Um, so that's a great way. You just wanna read you know any license agreements that you have um, or just know what those agreements are. And guys, I love sharing our testimonials because this is truly, I think if you're watching live or if you are watching the recorded with the comments, you can see that people all over the world are truly sharing um, their creativity and um, making money with their machine today. But Tess, I love because she says she could write 35 testimonials, but she's gonna keep it short. I love this one because in November, she looked up on YouTube what a cricket was. Um, and then I believe five days after buying her Cricut, she joined the membership. Um, there were not even fonts back then. So that was like back in like forever ago. Um, and then she joined. And then to this day, people order things from her who have a Cricut a year or two longer than her, but they don't know what to do with it. So she loves being able to, you know, create and sell. And she was able to start selling within, I believe um, the first month of having her Cricut, she was able to start selling it. So with the commercial license you provide, say I use your font, but my own design, does the license still cover me? So Anna, you said you're using your own design. So if you have, if you design something yourself, you, that's yours. You can, um, go ahead and make sure to, you can totally use that for profit with your own design. And yes, you can use our font still with the commercial license. Jennifer says, is it question time? Miss Jennifer, let us know what questions you have. I'd love to answer it. Um, another testimonial is Miss Alicia. She did her first craft fair and even her daughter was able to make treats and favors. She sold her shirts and received orders for more. Um, and she said, thank you, Tanner, for all the inspiration, motivation, and wonderful cut files and fonts. Um, and then what I want to go ahead and ask is that I also have a question for you guys. So the question is, do you want this? Do you guys want to be able to create a business, share what you make, um, be able to help people truly have creativity and um, be able to make things? Because if you do, we are so excited for you. So I'm so excited to be able to introduce to you guys um, Design Make Sell, which is our amazing, amazing program where we have helped over 600 amazing students um, in this 
program. And I want to make sure that you guys have an opportunity because for the next seven days, you have the option to join Design Make Sell. So Rachel, will you go to the main camera? Um, we normally have a few different ways of introducing Design Make Sell, but today I really felt like I wanted to physically share with you guys what Design Make Sell is, um, break down what you get with Design Make Sell, and make sure we are on the right page because this is a program that you are going to invest quite a bit in. But what we want to do is make sure that you guys understand what you're getting. I saw a, qu a thing from Monica. She says, wait, you have a course on designing SVGs? Yes. So in the design portion of Design Make Sell, you're getting a full um, for 25 to 30 videos, just understanding how to use the design programs, using glimpse, using, um, you know, basic shapes, building custom files out of basic shapes and so much more. There's so much in this book that we're so excited about, but I do want to tackle some questions. What if, as Jennifer says, what if you're an ADD crafter? Uh, my likes are all over the place. So how do you find a niche? Jennifer, if you need your niche, I would say list out three to five things that you love to do. I absolutely love to do, would do it for free and have fun with it. If you know those few things combat that, you're going to want to make sure that you're able to make profit from those, okay? You wanna make sure that you're able to make profit from those. So if you are able to make a profit from it, you're able to kind of set up categories on your Facebook, set up categories on your Etsy shop, and you kind of want to see which one is going to take off with the most profit. Um, and then once that's been determined, then you can focus in maybe so on more than one or two. Uh, Monica says, does this come with my yearly or is this separate? So this is an entirely separate program because there is not one thing in this program that talks about crafting. This comes in as someone that knows their machine, but needs help setting up their Etsy shop, needs help understanding shipping, needs help being able to come out with their own, you know, products, figuring out which ones to sell, which ones can create profit. One of the first things we talk about in the selling part of the program is we dive right into um, the best products to sell. So Rachel does kind of like your competitor analysis for you because we specialize in die cutting. As I throw my phone in the floor, um, you're able to kind of dive in and kind of see what all is available and kind of pro and cons for you guys from a, um, an outsider perspective to help you guys determine that. So if you're an ADD crafter, if we can show the overhead, we'll kind of, we'll kind of dive into it. I think if you're an ADD crafter, you know, the selling part is right here for you and you're able to understand the best products to sell, picking your niche. Do you want to go the cheaper route, the more quality luxury route, how to create a brand? My friends, what I love is that after we kind of dive into some of the worst products to sell, some of the best products to sell, and you have to watch the training video. Each one of these lessons come with a video anywhere from eight to 20, 30 minutes long. We have tips about creating your niche. We have marketing analysis for you guys to complete on some of the ones that inspire you um, and so much more. So one th thing I wanted to also share is that in this lesson, we teach you how to brand yourself. So we're teaching you how to build the brand. And I, top, uh, I talk strategically about how Makers Gonna Learn was built um, pricing and everything. So if you guys are interested, Design Make Sell is open for the next week, taking new customers, um, or students in this program and you get both Design Make Sell, um, the selling part and the awesome, awesome, um, design. So there are two courses over 40 videos long, and there's three different tiers to choose from. So we teach you guys from working with SVGs, how to um, master Inkscape, how to build different things, 
um, you know, the possibilities in this program is truly, truly um, limitless. So we will break down the different tiers for you guys. So let us know if you have any questions. Um, this is not included in your year membership. This is separate, so this is totally different. I teach you guys exactly how to sell from the art of selling, from pricing structure to, you know, um, where to sell, how to set up the Etsy store, tips for setting it up. Um, there's lots of things. So you get the book and then you also get um, the 40 plus videos. So if we could share the screen, I'll kind of dive in and share with you guys exactly how um, to get signed up if you all are interested in Design Make Sell. So yay, one thing we have, how does selling on Etsy compare to just doing a Facebook page or website? Miss Jennifer, I love that question. I love, love, love that question. Um, so what you're going to know about that is there's three, you know, there's two different things. So when you have your Facebook and your website, you're relying on word of mouth a ton. Etsy is actually going to work their hardest. They're really gonna work hard for you for a small commission of your profit, but they're gonna connect you with people that are ready to buy all over the US. Um, is there support for the course if you still need help understanding something? So Jennifer, I wanna go scroll down. Um, you know, obviously if you've been loving today's training, you're going to love Design Make Sell because you're gonna learn everything from the designing um, to the selling. So in designing, we have videos on Inkscape, Illustrator, Procreate, um, contouring, personal versus commercial licenses, what is an SVG, designing basic shapes like a cupcake, flowers and trains, turning PNGs into SVGs, um, adding colors, multi-layer SVGs, and then awesome things like how to fill fonts, font glyphs, and so much more. So the selling we've obviously went over as well. You learn what to sell, how to sell, um, where to sell, pricing your projects. We go very um, detailed with this. And yes, this would be a great, great, great um, uh, tax write-off if you are looking to build that business and sell. Um, we teach you from the marketing aspects how to create graphics, scheduling social content, custom versus signature lines of products, how to keep customers around. We talk craft shows. Um, as you guys know, there's a ton. So what we have available for the next seven days, there's three different tiers. You can go intermediate and just get access to the videos. So intermediate is just the videos. Advanced is just the books and the videos. And then in professional, you're going to get the videos, the books, and you're going to get, looks to be right at five different bonuses. You're going to learn how to create your very own fonts. You're gonna learn how to create your very own patterns. You're going to get our frame masterclass if this has motivated you to make and sell frames. We give that to you completely free. You have our awesome bonus of keeping um, costs low and profits high. And then lastly, we have the taking amazing photos. So if you guys are excited to take amazing photos, you want the bonuses, you want the books, and you want the videos, you can join Design Make Sell using the coupon code DMS to save $50. So you could click enroll now today and you would insert the coupon code DMS and you're gonna be able to get started right away. Now you guys can notice this is a more luxury product because it is so business focused. So if we could go back to the main camera, I wanted to kind of share exactly why and what this course is and why I know a lot of you guys have maybe never invested this much into your own business or into yourself um, before and why it is so important um, and to kind of how to figure out what you can do to create um, 
enough to invest in this, right? You know, this is an investment. You want to be aware of that. I acknowledge that this is an investment, but this is an investment to your business. I know for a fact that these two programs right here is the blueprint of how you can create an income for yourself, right? This is something that you could create $500 a month added revenue into your business, $1,000 a month. The best part is these two features right here, you're going to be able to use this and depending on how hard you work at it is going to depend how well your profit is going to come from. In our last training, we had a ton of people say, Tanner, that is just too much for me. I am unemployed. Um, you know, in times like this, it is scary, but we want to make sure that if you guys need design make sell, we can make it happen. The ways we've done that is first of all, you can get our payment plan. Our payment plans are amazing. It spreads our pro tier across three payments, one payment today, one payment in 30 days and one final payment in 60 days. But in addition to that, you've got to know that you're going to be able to make back your money from the investment. So what we kind of did was we said, what if, we were going to say how many projects we would have to sell to make that money back, right? If you were to sell 13 $35 projects, your pro level tier for Design Make Sell paid for, like that, 13 $35 projects, okay? My friends, that is very possible in your first 30 days to get started, to get those orders out if you truly believe in it and you work for it. Um, so I know that is something a lot of you guys are wanting to consider. There's obviously the payment plan. There's obviously lower tiers if you just want the books or the video training. So we have it, um, Nicholas saying, which book do you prefer? It really depends on which one you're most passionate about. We have this in one program for a, quite a few reasons. I truly believe if you want to design, you really want to sell as well. Um, but I love the selling. I love selling. Me and Rachel both could probably worked on selling more than designing. Um, Courtney and Becca really worked hard on designing, but there's just something about the selling aspect that gets me really excited. So I think when, yay! You, when you dive into designing though, even if you don't know much about it, it kind of motivates you to want to sell, even if you think you did Yeah, that. I think so too. And another thing is, I know there's people that have taken Design Make Sell just for our designing program, um, and they may have no interest in selling. And that's totally fine because the value here is so important and so good. Aw, uh, yay, I am in, Jennifer. We are so excited. I think you are going to love, love, love everything about Design Make Sell. You're gonna get instant access today to the entire course at the payment plan. So there's no, you're not getting anything different, um, you know, than anyone that paid in, up in full. There is 0% um, PayPal uh, interest if you are wanting to finance that. So you can save the $50 using the code DMS and pay it in full. You can do that through PayPal. I'm pretty sure you can get instant approval for that. Um, a lot of people love using that because you can spread it across six months, I believe, which is really nice. So you get, do get all of these things. We're really excited guys, but you do have to act fast because the program will close um, in seven or on one week. So you have one week to decide is Design Make Sale right for you. We're so excited to open our doors and welcome our next group of students. A lot of people also ask Tanner, when are the doors go open again? We do not determine that. It depends on a lot of different marketing initiatives here at Maker is going to learn. Um, but what I will tell you is that whenever we open the doors back, you're not going to have the time to make 2020 your year. Um, if you want 2020 to be your year, you have September, October, November, December. Those are four months, almost half of the year you have able to create an income for yourself. If you wait until the next time we open the doors, 2020 will not be the year. We'll be talking 2021. This is why you want to act fast. You want to get your seat and you're going to love it. The best part is when you go pro, you're going to get the Facebook group. You're going to get all the additional trainings and so much more. If we get Design Make Sell and you add classes next time it is open, do we get those classes too or do you have to pay it again? Samantha, you're getting them completely free. This is lifetime access to what we've designed and then what we're able to share with you more. Rachel, will you go back to sharing the screen? Because I will... I totally went off script just because we had a ton of different slides um, here for you guys, but I wanted to, you know, obviously share it with my own heart. Um, you know, here's the books, 
you get even more bonuses for this right here. You get the fonts, you get the pattern creation, you get the frame class. Who does not want the frame class? The people, so many people have said they will have bought Design Make Sale just so that they could get the frame class. <laughs> The I'll frame class, it. yeah, the frame class is $97 on its own, my friends. You're getting that today for free. Um, you're getting to learn how to make your own patterns. You're getting to make your own fonts with your hand lettering, which is so important. Only available in the pro tier. You're getting to make, take amazing photos. Guys, if you're not taking amazing photos of your projects, you're not able to get started um, and sell online to the best of your abilities. Better photos mean you can charge more. Better photos means you're going to sell more. And better photos is go get more people interested on Etsy or Facebook. I think if you go on Etsy and your product has a bad photo, that could be Game a changer. for you. It, you could be like, well, I'm looking for somebody that puts a little more time and effort into their photo. Mm -hmm. That could be an instant turnoff to some exactly. customers. Exactly. The Facebook group, my friends, you can come over here, pop your question up, post your design logo, um, ask your questions, and you're getting support not only from the entire Makers Gonna Learn team, but you get the whole Design Make Sell Pro community, which are fellow business owners that you can mastermind with, get tips from, and a lot more. Um, altogether, if you were to if we were to sell every single part of this program, it would be $2,100 value, which was not something, you know, this is something that you would have to work months in. And the beauty of this is we're not trying to have a small impact. We're not trying to hold this back for only six, 10 people. We're wanting to make sure everyone that wants it is going to work hard at it and get it. Um, so you're, that is why we are able to offer the payment plan of 175 for three payments one payment of 447 when you use the coupon code DMS. That's gonna save you $50. You're gonna get in, you're gonna get learning. Marcy says, do you have to be a member to get the program? You do not have to be a member, but let me tell you, if you get the program and you're not a year member, you'll end up wanting to be a year member. So get the program, learn the training, get in, get plugged in, and then you can consider membership in the future. Samantha got DMS yesterday. Okay, you didn't even celebrate yourself. So Samantha, welcome, welcome, welcome to Design Make Sell. Woohoo, we're so excited. How do you get access to the Facebook group? Well, Miss Samantha, you're go go to the program under your courses on your account, and there will be a link. You just answer a few questions, we double check you here in, and we'll, get you plugged in. I would do it before four o'clock Eastern today because our customer service team leaves until tomorrow. Um, so do that so that we can get you approved. And then someone said earlier, do we get future videos? So we've been adding more videos. Um, we've added more things on taxes, fees, tips for a great listing, diving into shipping your orders, tips for the, the legal side of things. Those are here for you. All questions that you guys We've ask, been adding. Yes. When so you guys good. ask a question and you want more information, one of the team members just says, okay, and we do a whole video about yes. it. Yes. So good to add yeah. that. It's kind of like a membership, but it's a one-time fee, which we're so excited about. And again, my friends, this offer is going to end soon. We wanted to make sure that this is something tangible for you that you could sell, literally sell 13 projects in the first 45 days, 60 days, and have this program paid for itself. It's unbelievable what you're going to be able to do with that. So we're so excited. You can see um, another testimony is that my goal was to start my Etsy shop in January, um, but she was already making her first sale without even listing um, without even listening. She was able to just post it on Facebook and made her first sale of her outdoor signs. And hold on, I'm gonna pick up my phone out of the floor because I wanna share with you guys the pricing breakdown because there were so many people that were blown away by the pricing breakdown last time that I was like, y'all need to see it come together because just Tanner talking about it is not the same. Especially if you're a visual learner. You know? Exactly, exactly. Because this is probably, I realize that this is probably the biggest um, investment somebody has probably made for themselves potentially. So I wanted to share that with you. So say you wanted Design Make Sell Pro today, that's 447. Big number, I totally understand. But let's say you're able to sell your 
X, Y, and Z project um, for $35. So $35 projects, look at how many you'd have to sell. 12.77, <laughs> so 13 projects and you have Design Make Sell paid for. Or let's say $35 may be too much for you. Let's say 447 divided by $20. That's 22. You could sell a, a mug for $20. Literally, literally would be paid for within 22. I'm not saying you would probably have it paid for in the first week, but I'm saying within the first month to two months, you're gonna have the program paid for and then the rest guys, you're having the blueprints for you to rock it. Let's say you're doing a $70 frame, which if you've been to Hobby Lobby, you know that's possible. Let's say 70, $70, not 75, 70. You're right here, you only need to sell six. So we're so, so excited. And Ms. Jennifer says, can you explain the payment plan again? Yes, let's go ahead and share the screen and I'll show you. So right here, this is if you wanted to pay in full, but if you go to the sales page, you'll see right here, um, pick your tier, which I highly recommend the professional tier, scroll down to the bottom, and you're going to see you have the three payments of 175.60, three payments of 142.50, or two payments of 188. So click right here of three payments at 175, um, and then you'll pay. Today's price is 175. In 30 days, you'll pay another payment, and in 60 days, you're gonna pay that final payment and then you'll have design make sell forever um and then yes if the videos might work for you exactly you're gonna love 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 the videos miss monica because the videos are gonna help you thrive and give you guys a ton a ton of value so it's gonna be so good and we're really really excited for each and every single one of you so yay my friends thank you guys so much i hope my true hope and desire today is whether you design design if you join design make sell or not you got a ton of value and i truly believe you guys are going to be able to rock selling your own projects if you decided to join Design Make Sell today, I know Samantha is. Uh, Monica, girl, you're killing it on Etsy, but we wanna help you design better, design more, sell more. So I highly recommend checking into it. If you have any questions, message me on Instagram. Um, Jennifer, I think you would love Design Make Sell. You can use that payment plan and we would love to welcome you into it. As soon as you join, download your eBooks use these books to guide your video training to guide your learning um print them out if you want and it'll be so much fun but guys you have to act fast you only have a very short window um so it is going to be so fun stephanie says so you don't get it until it's paid for stephanie no today you pay you do the payment plan you're going to instant access to the whole program um you will just have to complete your payments um, i just explained when the payments would be so the same as someone paid in full versus someone does the payment plan you're getting the same amount of content right away so yay jennifer says so no local workshops jennifer we do not have any right now um, and Chandra says, I have to learn my cricket first. I'm a complete newbie and so lost. Ms. Chandra, I hope you're enjoying the YouTube channel. We have so many videos for you. Grab a membership if you do not have one already because we will be able to help. And just like some of our testimonials, there's people that are able to start selling within 30 days of getting their cricket. So if you want, we would love to have you in this next round, but hopefully by next time we open doors, you'll be ready to start selling. So yay! Um, Brianna says, thanks from beginner. Oh my goodness, so happy to have each and every one of you guys here today. So thank you guys so much. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Um, dive in and check everything out and it's gonna be so much more fun. Heather says, I've checked out so many other videos with Cricut and no one else's is thorough, professional, detail-oriented, and fun, the makers will learn. Thank you so much, Heather. That means so much. Um, but thank you guys again, and I hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you back here real soon. Bye, friends.